Also, you're able to see my screen, right? Just trying to check with the audio and the video part both. Right, Chaitanya, just let me know, acknowledge in the chat window if you can hear me and also if you can see my screen. All right, perfect. Thanks, Chaitanya. And Koresh, also like to get across a quick confirmation from your side. All right. Uh, I'll just go ahead and then get started. Okay, let's get started with today's session, guys, by doing a small recap of what was being covered across in the previous session. So do type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session, which were being covered across, so that we can go ahead and take that further. All right, so I know we did review across your uh, overall AdWords account, but still, what all things do you remember when we were doing the re review? What all things do you remember in terms of the overall features and so forth? Would like to go ahead and talk about that. All right, so Chitanya says the search network, the display network, the extensions, absolutely correct. We saw all of that. All right, any questions, any doubts from the previous session? Or shall we uh, get started with the, the display and then followed with the video one? So Koresh, just trying to check with you, are you able to hear me loud and clear? Now clear, okay, perfect stuff. Right, so, I would like to ask you if you have any questions, any doubts. Remarketing, all right, yes. For remarketing, we have to get started with the uh, display. So we will start with creating across a display campaign and then the remarketing would be done. So let me just go ahead and sign in, all right. So this is, I believe, Chaitanya signed in, which was being done earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that part and we'll log in. Put login across from my my client central account. Excuse me a second. All right, so Goresh is one observation. What is the difference in customer account and the manager account? So the one which I am using across right now, it's the manager account or what you can see in other words, uh, it's the agency account, my client central account. So the one individual account which you're using across is a customer account. So every single account, every single Google AdWords account is called an individual account and an account which an agency owns which an advertising agency owns, which has got multiple clients to take care of, 
is called a my client central or a manager account so that's something uh, which i have with me so i don't have to if you saw yesterday what i did i got uh, chatanya's account connected right i got chatanya's account connected to my client central to mine uh, agency account basically i didn't have to go ahead and uh, you know and now i don't have to really ask for username and password for both of your adwords account and i have to log in and log out out of yours and so on that all right perfect so i'm just going to log in oops Wait a second, I'm just trying to recall. I'm just trying to recall the password. All right, it did work now. All right, so we'll get started with creating across, uh, what do you say, a display campaign this time. And yeah, I'll use across Chaitanya's account for that college thing, right? All right, so I'm just gonna type in Chaitanya's name over here. Here's the AdWords account. All right, so I, I can see the three campaigns and all three are being uh, kept at pause. Let's create across a new account, guy, sorry, a new campaign, the three campaigns and all the three campaigns are being kept at pause, it's absolutely fine. And now what we will do, we'll be using across the same overall account which is this Google AdWords account, Chaitanya's account to go ahead and create a class, a display campaign this time. So uh, the step number one is to go ahead and click onto the campaign. And then this time I had asked to be the display network only. We have created this earlier. So I'm gonna be a bit quick. Wherever you, you will be having any questions, any queries, you can feel free to put that across your question in the chat window.
All right, so the very first level, guys, which we're going to get across is the campaign. And underneath the campaign, it's going to be the campaign settings, which we have to start with. All right, so if you remember, the very first thing, guys, which we did the other day on a display campaign was we selected across the marketing objective which we want to achieve so let's say again the marketing objective which we want to fill which we want to be uh, which we want to achieve across is the form filler functionality right so for that very purpose uh, okay i'll be taking it across i'll be asking uh, chatanya the url of the landing page once again so we're starting with driving across an action and this time not just the display campaign by targeting people on the basis of interest and websites on the basis of content and so forth. We'll be also going ahead and using across the remarketing as a tagging uh, as a targeting approach. Now, remarketing is not a kind of a campaign, guys. It is purely uh, underneath the the display campaign. We get across one of the targeting options. So I'm saying it once again in remarketing. What we get to see is in remarketing, what we, uh, uh, what we are trying to see is that the people who have been onto our website before, they are going to get to see across our ads on all those different websites, which they will be visiting across. Now the websites which they will be visiting across, definitely they have to be uh, part of the Google search network, right? Sorry, the Google display network. Google Display Network, I hope you guys remember what exactly we mean by that. Google Display Network consists of those websites which have approached Google with the help of Google's product called Google uh, AdSense. And these websites have approached Google through Google AdSense just for one particular purpose. They want to monetize. They want to monetize the traffic which they have, uh, which they are receiving across. But what it means by monetizing the traffic, they want to earn money. These websites want to earn money, right? Now, all those websites which are uh, part of Google Display Network, which have expressed their interest to be uh, to, to earn money to monetize their overall traffic, only though only on those websites, we as advertisers will be sh able to showcase our ads. Now, what are the different kind of display ads? Do you want to talk about that? Do you remember? What are the different types of display ads? Is it just a text ad? Is it uh, more than that? what all right it is a video ad absolutely correct and what else what is the other video network guys so other uh, ad type basically i'm sorry i mean not the video network in the display network, one of the ad type is the video type, which is the other ad type other than the video. What sort of a different kind of an ad we can create and showcase it on the different websites which are part of the Google Display Network? Absolutely get it. It can be an image ad, can be a video ad, and also it can be a text ad, the kind of text ad which we created for our search networks also, right? I hope uh, that rings a bell. Any questions, any doubts? So that's very important to know that the kind of advertisements which we'll be showing, the kind of advertising which we'll be showing across onto search network ha have to, has to be either an image ad or a video ad or a text ad, guys. Okay, so I'm moving further down after selecting across this action the marketing objective it says do you want to load settings from an existing campaign i can see uh, some of the uh, one of the display campaign have already been set up across now it's all up to you all right thanks for sharing across the landing page i'll be using that across now in a scenario when you have already created across some of the display campaign in the past you want all the settings of that display campaign to be punched in over here what are those settings like the language, the location, the budget, the bid, and so forth? Everything you want to be same. 
you can just copy paste i mean you can just uh, uh, select that particular campaign from which you want want to copy the settings but in this case we don't want to copy the settings from the existing campaign we'll be doing a fresh thing let's create across the name of the display campaign let's say i am putting it across as a uh, second i'm writing it across as a second display campaign it's up to you you can go ahead and pause this across later on i don't want to run it second display campaign now locations also you as we have understood this thing earlier that how do we really go ahead and do location targeting with respect to radius targeting and so forth i'm just being quick and i'm selecting across uh, let's say okay not telangana the entire state let's select across hyderabad all right so i've selected across hyderabad the city you're not able to view my screen goresh says or oh, is that so just give me a second oops okay there was a different screen i believe that was being shared across it's some other screen right 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 all right just uh, let me know if you are able to see now i'm i'm moving uh the slides again now is it perfect so we started with creating across a new campaign perfect now uh, you know this is something with zoom that you have to always keep in mind that which screen people are able to see right now so display network is the network type is the campaign type and then we have selected with marketing objective and then i instead of uh, building awareness and also looking for engagement or looking for people coming onto my website that's these are some of the marketing objectives i didn't choose that the marketing objective which i opted in for is taking a, taking across an action from on your website which is filling out a form all right that's what we want moving further i was just telling you that we can copy and copy across the settings from a different display campaign if it's been created in the past i can do that i can just select this and every single thing which is there in the previous campaign which is this one will get copied over here what all things like like build the budget uh things like the language the location targeting and so forth i don't want to do that so that's why i'm not using this i am creating across a new campaign right from the beginning so i've got second campaign second display campaign as the name of this campaign name and location i have chosen across hyderabad uh you guys are already aware of what how can you play across with the location part with regards to radius targeting and so forth language option you are aware of bid strategy also uh, we're going to keep it across as the manual one not any automated bid strategy and let's say my budget just to go ahead and keep it simple let's say it's 150 indian rupees per day i'm keeping that across now the next thing okay i'm re i'm repeating one thing again since that time the screen wasn't shared across when this uh, you know thought came into the mind that okay we haven't covered the remarketing campaign we haven't covered remarketing let me tell you remarketing is just one of the targeting uh, the way you are targeting certain people to show across your ad so these display ads what's going to happen we'll be creating either of those ads we have got three three ad types we have got either a image ad right we can create across an image ad or we can create across a the ad text ad or we can create across a video ad now out of these three ad types we can select all three or we can select uh, any two of these three or we can select any one of these three once the ad type is done once the campaign settings are also being mentioned that you know the ad scheduling is mentioned the overall uh, frequency uh, or and also the overall uh, frequency capping also i made you understand frequency capping is being done language setting location setting the bidding the budget everything is being done across then it comes across the question comes is to whom do you want to show across the ad right you have set up all of those things you have even created the image you have created uh, you have created a video ad now you want to show it across on whom do you uh, to whom do you want to show the ads or on what places do you want to show the ad these are the two questions which has to be uh answered across and google needs the answer to these two questions either you go ahead and select the platforms which is the websites where your advertisement will be shown 
either the websites or you go ahead and tell google the kind of people who whom you are targeting and they will get to see the ad now this second option which is uh, what kind of people are you targeting in underneath that option remarketing comes in so remarketing is just a small element of a display campaign in total right if you select the very first targeting option that uh, on what websites do you want to show the ad then there is a targeting option called display keyword you will select one keyword and that particular keyword will be taken as an input by google to search in for all those web pages in its entire google bigger display network so entire google display network let's say consist of 10000 web pages i'm just giving taking an example and out of those 10000 pages uh 500 pages have got content related to the display keyword we punch in as an advertiser in google adwords so what will happen only on those 500 pages our ad our image ad will be shown across that's scenario number 1 scenario number 2 let's say you do not have any idea about the display keyword you do not uh want to give across any information to google from the targeting perspective related to the content you want to give across input to google uh in terms of showing your ad from the user's point of view now you are more more sure about the user who's going to be uh, very much interested by seeing your ad who would be very much uh, who would uh, very much uh, you know take an action after seeing your ad so if you know about your user then you go ahead and punch in across things like topics or user interest and so forth which we look at or if not that also you can go ahead and select across only those users who have been part of your website before so underneath that user targeting remarketing is an option so let's create that so i think that this makes more sense ad extensions i'm not creating it first because you are already aware of location and call extensions are the only two ad extensions which we get in the display campaign and that too these two ad extensions location and call will come if we create one of the ad types in display we have got three ad types the uh, the image ad the video ad and the text ad if we are using text ad to shown across on those third party websites and so forth then only these ad extensions will be of uh, any help as of now i'm not going to be creating across a uh, what do you say a text ad because that's pretty easy you guys are already aware of that we will be using across an image ad to showcase it on different websites now these different websites how will they be selected either we'll put in across information from the interest side the users uh, side sorry or from the website side when we'll select the even the users guys when we'll given across inputs to input to google that okay this is the kind of user whom we are trying to target users who have got interest related to let's say technology or users who have got interest related in like in this case uh, in the college space or users who have got interest related to education jobs or maybe something like that then uh, people who have been searching for education related websites in the past their uh, their browsing behavior may have been like this only they will get to see the ad now where will they get to see the ad on whichever websites they visit on daily basis on that perspective the users will be selected you know the users will be shown across the ad so ad extensions i am not using across we're going further to show additional settings uh, i believe most of the things you remember delivery methods if i want to exhaust my budget uh, in a very accelerated way i can go with the second option i will uh, not get an option of dissecting across my budget throughout the day and so forth right standard is the uh, recommended option so my budget will be dissected and will be utilized over the uh, over the period of time over a specific single day all right so i'm selecting standard delivery method guys wherever you have any question please interrupt me please do ask me in the chat window so that i make sure that you get to understand everything it's it is very important now scheduling and starting guys the scheduled date started you are already aware of when do i want to start my uh, campaign when do i want to end it and on what all dates i want to run it across so i can set that up i am not going ahead and spending time on this because you are already aware of this ad delivery ad rotation now ad rotation guys it means that in every single ad group for uh, same set of targeting or for same set of keywords in the search it's same set it's underneath ad groups we have got uh, ads and keywords right over here it's uh, ads and targeting so whatever targeting which we do on those websites let's say or uh, either we target on the basis of users also we will have multiple ads underneath one ad group 
Now, which particular ad Google will throw onto uh, the space, onto those websites where it's eligible for? Well, Google will decide on the basis of the performance. So if, if I am creating across five different ads in one single ad group, now it's quite obvious that at one given point of time, only one ad will come out of five different similar ad types, similar of similar sizes. So uh, which one out of those five Google will show? Google will show on the basis of the performance. That's what ad rotation is all about. So we are going to we are choosing across optimize on the basis of clicks. All right. Now, if we are if you have got this conversion set up yesterday, we saw how do we you know set up the conversions and so forth. The conversion tracking code has to be put in across in the thank you page. If you remember right uh, in the thank you page uh, body tag in the source code. If that's been set up and your ad has run, let's say run across for a few good number of days, some certain number of conversions have come in, then this option gets enabled. Now this is option is enabled just because conversions have been created across, but still I would not recommend to use this optimize for conversions option as of now. Let's let's wait for certain actual conversions to come across. Not just setup is something which is recommended, but also certain conversions to come up because once certain conversions will come in google will be able to make a decision google will be able to make a decision in terms of uh, what kind of people do really get converted and google will have google will have certain data to refer to and uh, google will push across our ads to more towards those people who have similar characteristics to what uh, characteristics we have they, it has found in the past conversions you know the conversions which have happened in the past so let's go with optimize for clicks uh, to begin with. The last two options for ad rotations are not recommended. That's more about uh, you know not giving good fair chance to all the campaigns, all the ads in a particular ad group. Now frequency gapping, guys, I told you, this is more about restricting a specific ad, all right? I mean, let's say if you want to restrict across a specific ad to a specific users, to a specific user in a specific day. What happens is if today I, as an internet user, I'm going on to various different websites, I'm getting across an advertisement, let's say from a website, let's say Amazon. I have got a, a image ad being uh, shown across. I, I get to see an image ad by Amazon once, then I go onto another website, then over there also, then third, fourth, fifth, let's say 15 different websites I visited and I get to see that Amazon is just continuously following me Maybe it's definitely it's remarketing only. It can be the other way of targeting also that on the basis of my interest level also there could be, uh, but at the end of the day, if I'm getting to see advertisement from a specific advertiser and so many occasions in so, you know, in a, in that way, in a specific day, I might get frustrated. I might not really like this. So this will create a wrong image of that particular brand in my mind. So the, the other brand, brand or the advertiser on the other hand, is on a uh, is on a losing end because it's losing out its uh, that brand image and also it's losing out on money because uh, the brand is not getting across conversions despite of the fact that extra money is being spent by showing the ad good number of times. So it's better to go ahead and restrict the number of times an ad would be shown across to one single user in one single uh, day or now this can be scaled up uh, not just on a ad level but also on an ad group or a campaign i usually try to do it on an ad level and that too on a per day it can also be scaled on to per week and per month so let's say i don't want to show a specific ad to one single person uh, more than three times i don't want to show more than three times for a particular uh, particular day now, do we want to show uh, or do you want to show your advertisement on all the content or there is some sort of a website on where you, where you don't want to show your ad. So let's say uh, your advertisement is not suitable across uh, to be shown across on those websites which are, which are related to teens or which are related to for matured audience and so forth. If that's the case, you can select that. But for this, it's absolutely fine. The next part after the content is the uh targeting from the device perspective all right so chadan say is this option are available in the search network no so search network doesn't really risk uh, so are you talking about the frequency capping it's not available 
frequency capping doesn't uh, it's not available so there are few things there are few uh, campaign settings which we which are very per se uh, restricted to a specific campaign type like uh, like the match types are only for search but not for display frequency capping is only for display but not for uh, not for search what other can be there so similarly i mean there are few few more other things which are very much restricted to a specific uh, campaign type let's move further device targeting you guys are already aware of that we can go ahead and uh, choose the device for on which our ad will be shown across now uh, as for the data we saw the other day which was yesterday that the that the uh, overall device which was doing well was mobile so i'm going ahead and um, choosing across mobile device on which i want my advertisement to appear now i do have an option to even select further into mobile device that do i want to show my ads on mobile app mobile websites and mobile app interstitial mobile app interstitial as in the ads which take across the entire screen of the uh, mobile all right whether you open an app or whether you open a mobile website so i'm going with all the three i'm not really sure as of now which particular one would work the best uh, once my ad will run i'll have more data with regards to conversions that where are the maximum conversions coming from from which particular part of mobile is it more on over apps or on web or on app interstitials uh, if i'll get to know that interstitials are absolutely not working mobile app mobile app interstitials are not working it's only mobile app which is which is working i'll go ahead and um, you know don't invest in money over there my budget my, my bidding might really go down or i would go ahead and deselect it also if i wish to right so i'm as of now when i'm not sure when i don't have the data it's better to go ahead and select all of those all right so these were the things which we covered across guys in the previous sessions also the other ones are the advanced level the dynamic and so forth so where we are uh, skipping that as of now and clicking on to save and continue now the level number 3 of a adwords campaign is going to come in as we are aware of which is ad group level so let's say this is ad group number 1 for the second display campaign or right, we can type in or, or i think let's say ad group number 1 is absolutely fine that name okay now i have to put in across my bid my budget was being mentioned which was uh, 150 rupees let's say my bid i put in across as 10 indian rupees now here's my landing page url i'm just going to go ahead and open that all right so this is the landing page oh some error as of now could be a browser uh is it coming for you as well uh chitanya do you want to check that now it's coming in fine but that came in just for a, a second basically all right so this is the landing page url i'm going back and then typing across this landing page url over here one thing i would like you to focus on is that the targeting options which you're seeing over here the targeting options it says display keywords there is no idea there is no idea i mean there it's so this area specifically where my cursor is it's actually uh, blank right now right after this uh, period right after this dot in these three lines we do not see anything any text after that the moment i'm going to enter across my landing page there are certain ideas so there would be text over here as you can see it's scanning and after the scanning it shows 48 ideas over here and after scanning it shows eight ideas now i was telling you there are 
two major form of targeting guys there are two major forms of targeting in the display when we are trying to showcase when we are trying to showcase across our ads to uh, you know, on various different websites we have to give across input to google either in terms of the keywords right the keywords will be uh, taken across as an input will be taken across as one of the major input on the basis of which the websites will be picked up the web pages will be extracted from the entire display network and the ad will be shown on that and that part is called the display keyword if in case you are not sure about the websites part you can go ahead and select the users basically now only those users will be shown the ad whose overall uh, nitty gritties we'll mention over here so you know the interest level of the users are being either typed in or we select or we go ahead and given across information to uh, google adwords about targeting from the uh, users past uh, behavior onto a specific website which is our so only those people will be get, will be able to get to see the ad who have been onto our website before and that is remarketing we'll go ahead and get that activated so the display keyword part i think this is a refresher i think you guys have uh, seen this before the creation of a display campaign so that's why i'm being quick on to it as you can see there are several keywords guys which have been recommended recommended across by by google over here so we can go ahead and select the keywords which we feel is in sync with what our product is all about i'm not really sure whether any of these would really go well with the uh, what the product we have so i'm clicking on to enter your own keyword let's say the keyword is bba colleges or bba or colleges in hyderabad or business colleges in hyderabad so i'm just typing in certain keywords guys now what will happen all those various different websites in the google display network which have got content related to these three keywords will be fetched out as of now what we can see there are uh, not really any website which have got uh, which are part of the display network and have also got content related to this so i don't think this is the best idea to go ahead and uh, focus on this i hope the concept is clear had it been some other option had it been some other product maybe the display keyword could have make sense but this time the even the suggested keywords are very broad they are related to various different universities which are probably not uh, so much targeted so much in sync so if you talk about graduate degree courses it could be any any graduate degree courses right so why to go ahead, go ahead and show across our ads on websites which are talking about any damn graduate degree programs we have to be very specific they are not targeted so leon we are not now this is for a specific uh, example in our example display keywords are not working it doesn't mean for other examples it will not for other examples it does so it would it's always going to be a mix so this this time we are leaving the display keywords we are skipping that part we haven't chosen any display keyword we decide to go ahead and uh, give input to google adwords to show our ads to certain users uh, and what kind of users the ads should be shown across let's select over here the number one is the affinity audience option in the affinity audience option people who have actually gone ahead and searched for things they keep searching for certain things on the basis of the past browsing behavior they have been clubbed into different segments now what we can see people who have been looking for who have been uh, doing a lot of search lately not lately basically this is all together in total so people who are have been doing search on art and theaters they are not our audience auto enthusiasts avid investors i don't see any of those very much in sync with what our product is right now our product is purely a graduate degree program a bba college and so forth so health and fitness so forth and nope yeah none of these are actually going in sync with right so none of the categories are in sync with what users we want to target so even this one is not really good for us the second one is the okay custom affinity is very much same you can go ahead and customize it in market audience guys is the most important other one 
in market audience uh, what is the difference between affinity audience and in market audience let me tell you this in market audience consists of those users who have very recently shown a strong desire people who have very recently when i say very recently like maybe in last 15 days within the past 15 days and so forth have shown a very strong desire for buying across you know products related to their interest now the what are their interest they are being mentioned over here so let's say in the education department we can go for and see what all different details we have i think this one makes much more sense all right so this is showing the overall details now even this is pretty uh, wide guys people who have been uh, looking at the education part we can go ahead and show across our ads to them people who have been uh, they are very active and they do want to make a judgment they want do want to make a decision in a very uh, sooner frame of mind we can go ahead and show our ads to them also in terms of in the education section we have test preparation and tutoring we can go ahead and select that also now this audience which are uh, whose overall interest area is education and test preparation and tutoring uh, they are quite massive in terms of if we try to look uh, how many impressions maximum can we target in order to sh showcase our ads to all those who are part of this in market audience uh, section it's it, we can achieve across uh, almost 500 million to 1 billion impressions if we have the budget we have to make sure that in order to achieve these total impressions we have to have higher budget and so forth now that's up to us if we want to go ahead and go with this this is cpr all right so we do have two options cost per click and cost per impressions cost per thousand impressions both right so uh, either we will go ahead and get uh, charged on the basis of cost per click or on the basis of cost per thousand impressions once we'll start the ad as of now the bidding which we have entered chitanya is on cpc model all right once we start the ad we will be able to get across the option of selecting the cpm model also i mean that would be upon us sometimes the option is there and sometimes the options are not there okay with regards to the payment part so i can select this guys now the other option is let's say uh other than this if i do not let's say find uh, let's say this is one sort of a targeting which i can do i can go ahead and do a remarketing option a remarketing tar targeting also now over here it's okay so remarketing <laughs> it's already created so you you have got the remarketing list being already created across chitanya into your account so now when you will be doing across remarketing for the first time you will find nothing over here as of now it says all users but in order to get this activated what you have to do is i'll just tell you you have to go to you have to go to the uh, what do you say shared library section and get the remarketing activated now remarketing doesn't get activated straight away for this account remarketing is activated because the remarketing code has been implemented onto the website all right now how do you get across remarketing activated for your website you have to create across a audience an audience name and how does that uh, happen let me just show you So in a new tab, I'm I've opened the same Google account.
All right. So as you can see in the main screen, guys, when you're there on the AdWords, you do have this option called shared library. Now this is the place from where the remarketing actually gets activated. One second, I'm sorry, shared library. It's not the one. Right, so it's shared library only and underneath shared library, as you can see, there is this tab called audience. Now it says, as if you can read it out, it says, reach people who have visited your site. All right, people who have been to your website earlier. Reach people who have visited your site, engaged with your app. All right, either people who have been to your app before, who have been, or certain people who have been to your website before, or people who have watched uh, the channel, the YouTube channel of yours. So you can target people. All those people who have been to any of these three properties or all of those three properties, all of these three properties. So let's click on to view. All right, so as of now, uh, okay, all of this has been created. That's great. So this has been already done by Chaitanya in the past. So that's why the remarking list is already set up. The way you do it for the first time, I'm just not gonna implement it again. I would just like to show you the way you implement remarketing. You just have to go ahead and click onto remarketing list and then uh, what sort of a remarketing are you trying to do? Now, another thing, guys, you can even remarketing people on the basis of their Gmail accounts. If you've got Gmail accounts of your customers, all right, you can go ahead and uh, touch base with them, no matter on whatever website they go to, of whatever kind, of whatever different interest. But it's just that it should be a website in the display network. A website who are, which are part of the display network, which are being accessed by your customers who's Gmail account you've got, you can connect with those customers. Right, hope it makes sense. So let's say I'm, I'm selecting across website visitors. Now over here, since the very first time the list has been created, so that's why this option is coming in. We can create a cross once, you know, remarketing gets implemented for the first time, all these different options come in. If you will do it for the first time, remarketing implementation, it will just uh, give you an option of a remarketing code, which you have to implement it across on the main page of your website, on the main domain, the main root folder, that's what I call it. In the root folder of your website, you have to implement it and every single page will come under the preview of that. So if your website, let's say I've got 50 different websites, you can go ahead and select people, uh, select only those people who have been to only one single page of your website. All those rules can be set up. In. And here you can select these rules, you can set up the rules. Well, uh, you can put in across, let's say a different remarketing list name. One was the all users, the very first list which was being created and it was there, it was the list of those people who have been to your website on any section of your website. People either who have been on the home page, people have been on the contact us page, people have been on the internal product pages. We, if you'll go ahead and select that audience list, all right, then it means that we are trying to showcase our ads to everyone and anyone who has been to our any section of our website. Let's say we are trying to be way much. Uh, you know, choosy about even the web pages, even those pages who have been to selected web pages for our website, we can do that and we can create another remarketing list. So let's say visitors of a particular page or visitor, visitors of a page who did not 
visit another page even that can be done visitors let's say of a specific product page who also visited another page or visitors of a page during specific dates also and visitors of a page with a specific tag so tagging is a different advanced level stuff as of now we can do even custom combinations we can go ahead and let uh, you know for type in across the pages which people have been part of people have been uh, let's say all right so custom audience will take some time to understand i'm just going to select visitors of a page who did not who also visited another page so let's try to use this one to begin with let's say people who visited a page with any of the following and people who visited another page with any of the following so if i want two pages of my website all right only to be selected i can do that two three four out of let's say 50 pages if i'm assuming my website has got 50 pages out of those 50 pages if somebody has been to my uh, let's say the fifth page and also the tenth page only i can go ahead and select them i can go ahead and show my ads to them so Let's say somebody who has been to my website uh, page where the teams overall have been depicted, the overall teams page. Let's say this is the one. So I can go ahead and copy this page. People who have been to the teams page, the faculty page, and also people who have been to let's say all of these courses page or maybe the uh, placements page so whatever combination in this example basically this uh, in this website the example really doesn't work it this works majorly for the e-commerce website where you just want to focus people on the on the basis of what all products they visited let's say somebody who has been to the uh, footwear section i want to only show them the footwear related stuff and i want to target retarget them only who have been to the footwear section all right so that's the thing and let's say if one of the pages is the faculty page the other page is the the main courses page all right so let's say team the teams page and the faculty uh, the faculty page and the courses related page now this is just for the example sake i'm not saying that this is the best approach for this kind of an example the best approach is to go ahead and target people who have been to any particular page of your website so let's say the marketing list name is the faculty and courses page now membership duration means people who have been part of the website of any of these two pages in the past 30 days i can go ahead and select that it says includes past users who match these rules we i we would do on that right and that's the one and then we can go ahead and click on to save now this time the second time when these audiences are being created the remarketing code is not to be implemented again remarketing code implementation is only to be done across once that's it makes sense so this will actually it's showing unavailable right now it will come later on now also if in case you've got customers gmail addresses all right uh, you can go ahead and show across your ads or people who have been part of your website and they have shared their gmail address let's say you can go ahead and select customer email and here you can upload across an excel sheet with the email addresses up all right you can choose the file and that particular file should have all the email addresses uh, the gmail addresses only even only the gmail addresses are being uh, looked at or you can say being uh, read across by google all right so hope that helps if you have any gmail addresses list uh chitanya you can go ahead and use this option and you can select even these also so remarketing is not just done with regards to people who have been to your website earlier not just on the basis of people who have been to your youtube videos earlier people who have been uh, to your 
uh, apps earlier it's not just only those set of three set of audiences whom you will be showing the ads but also another fourth uh, set of audiences people who have been part of uh, who have been uh, your members let's say in the last 60 days or 90 days the membership uh, section which says 90 days it it means or 30 days we will be only able to show our ads only to those people who have been to our website in the last 30 days 60 or 90 that's it but what about those audience whom we want to show across an ad uh, which which have showed in their interest which have shared across their email addresses prior to 90 days also we can do that with the option of customer email list this one right so i'll type in across uh, a name to that and right so you can upload across the customer email addresses okay and then is there any particular membership duration you can do that okay 30 60 90 that's the best so having said that the remarketing list option has been uh, already set up in this specific account the only thing which we didn't see was the remarketing code the code the kind of code which we saw yesterday for implementation of uh, what do you call it? conversion right for the conversion tracking code also we do need the conversion tracking uh, code to be implemented across on the landing page on the thank you page basically right similarly a remarketing tracking code a similar kind of a remarketing code the way we have conversion tracking code this one is to be implemented across on the root directory of your website now i want to let you know if in case you have a wordpress website you can go ahead and uh, a cms web based website you can implement these codes on your own you can implement these codes on your own shall i show it to you if you do not need to have a, uh, have any dependency on a developer in that case if you want i can go ahead and surely show share, share that across with you there are certain plugins through which you can go ahead and implement paste these codes by yourself without having any knowledge of an html tagging and so forth or without having any dependency on any specific developer have you guys got your e uh, websites the wordpress based website just trying to check with you if you don't have then you can definitely go ahead and implement this Okay, so they're not yet. How about you, Gorish? Have you received it? Okay. Ah, uh, I'll. Okay, this week. Okay. I'll just go ahead and uh, open across. Okay, what was the thing which I was trying to show you? A WordPress based, absolutely. Give me a second. I'll open across a WordPress based website. I have to. All right, so I'm just going to swap the uh, screen in a second, or I'm going to use it over there itself. Give me a second. So I'm opening WordPress in a new tab.
All right, so like I'm telling you, uh, you can go ahead and implement this, con either the conversion tracking code, guys, or whether it's to do with the remarketing code, both of them can be implemented by you. If you have a WordPress-based website, a website which is made up on a, on a CMS like WordPress and so forth, okay? So with that being said, on the left hand side guys i hope you guys are able to see the wordpress panel can you see the wordpress dashboard just confirm me are you guys able to see the wordpress panel just confirm me in the chat window guys All right, so you're seeing it, right? Okay, so what we have to do is in order to get this, uh, get a conversion tracking code implemented or maybe to get across a remarketing code implemented, you have to go to the settings, oh, sorry, the plugin section, click on to add new. Now search for Google remarketing to begin with. Now here you can see the very first card remarketing code guys that's already been implemented onto my website. You can go ahead and install this and activate this. It says include remarketing ad codes on a per page or post basis. There's also a spot for a default code, right? You can go ahead and get this up and this remarketing code option, you get this usually in the settings option. Once you have implemented this, once you have, I'm saying it again, once you have got this particular installation being done for this zip or for this particular plugin, you need to go to the settings section and then click on to where's the one read, read. sorry, settings. Right, so here is the setting option and then underneath that it's Google remarketing right over here. Now over here, this remarketing code guys has to be implemented across okay that particular remarketing code which you get i haven't got that uh, pasted across over here you can paste it right over here make sense guys right so the remarketing part hope you have understood how that is to be done across Can I get a quick confirmation in terms of remarketing if you guys have understood it? All right, thanks Koresh for acknowledging I and Chaitanya you're already aware of. All right, perfect. So what we can do, we can go ahead and get started I think with the YouTube video part. The remarketing has been done, it's just that 
you have to understand how do we really go ahead and implement that. All right, so we'll, we'll continue this process further with creation of the display ad also. So the display ad creation needs to be done for that very purpose. Let me go back to the campaign section. I'm going to the campaign section and this is where we created across the remarketing list. Customer email list, you're, you've understood. What we have to do is we have to create across an Excel sheet with the, the Gmail accounts. The Gmail accounts of all our, of all our mm. customers should be there in an Excel sheet and we can go ahead and upload it right over here. Right, so we can upload it right over here and then get it done. I'm clicking on to cancel. So this particular list, which is called faculty and courses, which is a rule-based one, this will actually start showing across the numbers. It's getting updated right now, as it says. It might take some time for this to start showing us the numbers. All right, after some time. So with that being said, I'm going back to the campaign portion. Right, so we can select this particular remarketing list. So that's how you really go ahead and add it to the targeting section. Let's move further down. Now over here in the narrow your targeting further option, you can go ahead and select a further targeting option other than display keywords. We can have topics on the basis of topics, on the basis of so ads on the pages about certain specific topics you can select. Now this is furthermore, this is furthermore uh, various different way of targeting across. So it's, it works very much like the display keywords portion only. In the jobs in education segment, maybe this can really work. So education is another one. And in the education segment, we've got websites which comes under the colleges and universities. All right. We can go ahead and select that if we wish to. Academic conferences and publications. Special education and so forth. All of these are the ones which any one of those, if you find it to be relevant, you can go with that. Now this is another one. We are not selecting the topics one since we do not find that to be much more relevant again. I think it's more better to go ahead and show our ads to those people who have been to our website earlier. And display keywords topics, placements. I hope you remember what exactly we mean by placements, right? With placements, what do we mean by? All right, so uh, Chitana, I'm not sure you said no for what for what question. I, I just saw that you have answered no. And let me know uh, what is that for? Like, is there something which I can help you with? Is there something which I uh, did miss out? So this topic is not related to education. Oh yes, absolutely. You're saying it correct. So this is not that focused, this particular one. So let's move further. We have implemented the remarketing list. We are now going ahead to the other display advertisements targeting and that's the placement section. So in the placement section, In this placement, what do we really mean by that is whatever different or uh, whatever uh, specific advertisement which we uh, will be creating after this section, after the targeting section has been uh, defined, we will be getting across. Uh, okay, in this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just repeating it again. In this section, we will be able to define, we are able to define on what all websites can we go ahead and show in our ads? And those websites are the ones who are part, which are part of the Google display network. So let's say I am typing in DBA. Let's say this is my keyword and I'm trying to see if there are websites related to this term called BBA, which are part of the display network. All right, so 
college dunia dot com, colleges and so forth. So these are some great websites which one can really go ahead and target across. Right. I hope uh, so. You can you can any time go ahead and select the ones which you find to be relevant, and these are absolutely relevant ones. As you can see, you can go with let's say Minglebox. I I I'm aware of it's one of the most uh, popular websites amongst those people who want to be who want to get into BBA colleges and MBA colleges and so forth. They always refer to this kind of website, Minglebox. We can yes. Now I would not suggest you to go ahead and uh, you know have one campaign where remarketing is also being selected and also where these uh, placement section is selected. So you can have multiple campaigns. A campaign number one, which is to do with the uh, campaign number one, which is focusing more on the topic, interest, and the placement section, and the other campaign to focus more on the remarketing. That's it. So you know what happens with the remarketing options is the remarketing uh, targeting. You usually create across your advertisements in that particular way. The messages. in your remarketing campaign would be something like that you know you visited us are you happy did you uh, or maybe you try to give across let's say a specific uh, discount coupon or you offer across certain uh, so in this case uh, you probably might uh, let them know that uh, you can be you can be part of our uh, what do you say lucky draw we are trying to give you across 5% discounts and so forth kind of a thing right so and that that only goes for those people who have been to your website because they haven't really converted you want to convert them it's it becomes easier to target those people who have been to your website before and you give them a specific message all together but somebody whom you are targeting for the first time by showing your ads on to mingle box study guide all these different websites or using across the other targeting options like the affinity audience in market audience topics or the display keyword if you use them then the banner ad would be something for uh which is attracting a visitor who's going to who's seeing you for the first time who's going to visit you for the first time assume that you know you're you're actually trying to get people for the first time so you know what happens is if you run these two three kind of campaigns parallelly one is the search campaign along with that you run two different kind of display campaign one is uh this one display campaign is targeting those people who are uh who's going to be Of I'm sorry. Those people who are going to be coming across to your website for the first time—that's display campaign number one, and display campaign number two is the one which will focus only those people who have been to your website. So let's say yesterday there were ten people who came to my website. Yesterday, let's say there were ten people who came to my website because of display campaign number one and also search. Now they might uh, forget. after visiting my website they might forget about my website so there is a third campaign which is the remarketing campaign who's bringing those 10 people who got connected who got connected onto our website from the first two campaigns right i hope uh, i'm making sense so what i'm trying to say the search campaign got you the search campaign got you a uh, good number of it is getting you good number of visitors on a daily basis the display campaign number 1 which is targeted towards showing people ads the very relevant people uh, people who would, who might really get converted and uh, showing ads to people who are actually on these websites of our choice where you find okay there is some synergy so you are getting people uh, onto your website for the first time now these people who are visiting your website for the first time you would like to get them onto your website for the second time also and that remarketing campaign helps you So with that being done we are clicking on to save and continue i hope you have understood this part All right. So now comes in uh, the overall way through which you can go ahead and create a class. 
the advertisement. So I had shown you, so I think this was uh, a question from your side, Goresh, that uh, how do we really jump onto that particular portion where the entire web page, the landing page gets scanned and the advertisement gets created on its own. So this is the portion which is called view ad ideas. So when you are on this particular situation where your first, your campaign settings got done. Second, after that, after campaign settings, you were there on the ad group level, right? And at the ad group level, you have been defining across the entire targeting, right? The targeting has been defined. Then after the ad group level where the targeting is being done, same at the same at the same level, which is ad group level only, you get the next option, which is to go ahead and create the ad. I've got a question from Chaitanya. Just give me a second. In remarketing, you can show again our message for whom. Who is there a website only or who filed, who filled up the form? Both. So people who filled up the form, Chaitanya, can be one sort of an audience. But if you remember, uh, there were two, uh, there, were, there were multiple audiences which we can select. One of the audience, Chaitanya, which we have already created is for all users. Now, people who have been to my homepage, my contact us page, my landing page, and after my landing page, the form gets filled up, we can go ahead and uh, we include them also. So all users include everybody who has been to my website. So if I want to show my ad, so re retargeting has also got sections in it. Retargeting has also got section in it. One form of retargeting is everyone who has been to my website, I go ahead and create a campaign for them, an ad for them. All right, whether anyone who has been to my website on any page, whether it be in the form fill up page or the thank you page, which comes after form fill up or anybody who has been to my uh, product page, my uh, faculty page, my facilities page, my courses page, my home page, my contact page. This is audience number one. Anyone uh, who has been to my any page of my website. So you target them with a specific message that you visited my website no matter whichever page they visited, no matter whichever page they visited, since you are targeting, targeting those people who have been to your website on any page. This is scenario number one. Scenario number two can be when you only want to target people who have filled up the form. So in that option, what will happen in the targeting section, when you will fill up in the targeting section, when you will be selecting the remarketing that gives you an option of selecting the specific remarketing list. So we will not select that all users remarketing list. We will be selecting a remarketing list, which will be created separately by us by going into that same section, which is the audience section in the audience section. We'll have uh, a list being created, which says people who have been to our thank you page only people who have submitted the form, people who have submitted the form only will able to get to see that. Makes sense. Do you want me to go ahead and show that to you? I can go ahead and create that for you if you wish to. All right, give me a second. So, um, okay, let's, let's, uh, get this thing done and then I'll go ahead and, uh, create this because if I'll go back, you know, these uh, things will actually not get saved. That's the overall concern. Let's create the ad. Once the ad gets saved, then we will alter the, uh, targeting once again, but hope you have understood the concept. You've understood it theoretically from my side that I do have an option of creating different remarketing. So earlier I was saying either we have a search campaign. Number one, we have a display campaign targeting people coming onto my website for the first time. I have a third campaign, which is a display campaign, which is remarketing. Now remarketing also has got subclasses in it. I can have a remarketing campaign. Number one, remarketing campaign. Number two, three, four, five depending upon whatever kind of audience I want to go ahead and connect it across to. So with that being said, I'm first of all creating the view ad ideas. I'm clicking on the view ad ideas options. Theory wise, absolutely. I'll show you the practical voice show. Sure. All right, so here, when we clicked on to view ad ideas, we've got the page, the landing page being set up. 
Now, what all do we want in the headline section? Uh, is there something, Chaitanya, which you want to let me know? What content do you want in the banner ad, in an image ad, as a headline, as a description line in the button label? Do you have something uh, you can let me know? All right, so best degree college in Hyderabad. And description would be Anything you want to talk about placements, anything you want to talk about facilities. All right, so you're saying degree plus four international certifications. And in button label, we can have all right, so 100 percent placement. So we can have that, I think. Degree plus four certificate for international certifications. Let's see if we are being allowed to actually get that. And let's say we can have in button learn more or know more or contact us. Maybe no more. That's the kind of a content we can have. Right, let me know if in case you want, want something else. Are we okay with the button label? All right, perfect. So what we'll do now, we will go ahead and uh, click on to show me ideas. What's gonna happen? After clicking onto this, we will be able to check the different kind of uh, banner ads suggestions which Google is actually gonna provide us. So in what's happening, the entire landing page is getting traced. It's getting uh, scanned all together by Google and Google is doing its work in terms of taking the best of the best things out from your web page, uh, whether it's to do with the images, the content, and also the suggestions we have provided from our end, the headline stuff, and also the description, and also the button label. All right, so as you can see, here are the various different options which so Chitana, if you have any specific choice you want to uh, have, you can let me know. I can go ahead and select that particular one. I think this one looks uh, good or it is more imagey. Or even this one is better. The fifth one, all right, third. This one, are you talking about uh, th this one? This is the fifth one. All right, so I've selected this. Now we can go ahead and even edit this across. We can edit this if we wish to. Now editing can be done across at all the levels uh, for every single format. So as you can see, various different formats which Google allows us, we can get to see that, whether the content is 
coming in properly or not, even for a smaller version. So this preview is scaled to fit the editor. Okay, maybe this would be, this version could be a difficulty, I believe so, for Google to showcase. Let's see. With that being said, let's pick and choose the one which we wish to, and we have already selected that. We can make changes in terms of the logo. Can take the other one, sure. I can go ahead and click on to cancel, and uh, let's take the other one. Let's take the other option, which is Which one do you want me to take? The fourth one, okay. So I'm gonna deselect this. I'm gonna select this one. And let's click on to edit and try to check for this one as well. All right, so that's how the banner is uh, looking like. We can make changes if we wish to. All right. I think this one is still creating a problem. We'll just check as we move further. If in case you want to make changes to your images, you want to upload a new one, you can do so. Change in across the background color and so forth. Okay. Now, if you have a website which is uh, separate for the mobile this mobile device, you can always go ahead and specify a URL for that. Usually people don't do that these days, but earlier it used to happen that mobile website used to be configured across on a URL like, you know, M dot and then the website name. So uh, that is an extra expense altogether. If you do have a separate URL for your mobile, you can specify, well, if it's not, then you can uh, let that be unchecked and click on to done. All right, so click on to done and then click on to save. All right, so it's saying create another ad group to reach different customer segments. So let's let's create another one which is this time it's going to be the one only those people who have visited the uh, landing page and filled up the form okay so let's say the ad group number two the name to ad group number two is the ones people who have filled up the form we want to target them now whatever the bid may be we can decide on that and now, which particular page do we want to really make them visit? After they go ahead and click onto the ad, people who have been part of our, uh, who have been to our website and have clicked onto, uh, have filled up the form, definitely they would have visited the landing page prior, that specific landing page. This time you can create a second, another landing page. This time it would be a different landing page, which might have content saying that you visited our website and you showed in express, you expressed across your interest these many i mean uh, uh, we expressed across your interest uh, we would like to offer you such and such thing more maybe you know a free orientation we would like to give you free counseling so you have a landing page number two in that case makes sense and then you enter across the landing page of that specific page over here right why do show across people who clicked across the course button you want to target them who are people who have uh, been to the course tab, who have clicked onto the course button and who have been to this particular page. You're trying to target them. Is that what you're saying? Uh, okay. So let's say you would want to target across people who have been to the courses page. So let's say this one, uh, while creating across this ad group number two, I'm changing the ad group name, people who have been people who have been to the courses page, people who have 
who have been to the courses page of our website. All right. And now the landing page, you want to show them the same one, which is this one, right? Uh, not this one, sorry. Where is the landing page? The landing page URL, I think, is okay. But Chetana, you have to really get across this thing checked. There's some error which keeps coming in. So, you want to take a screenshot of it? You can let your developer know. All right, let's close this and I'm going back. All right, so I think this is the landing page, right? Now, do you want to give me the landing page URL? I think I'm actually on the wrong page as of now. Right, or shall I pick it up from the chat above? All right, thanks. All right, so here's the landing page. I'm going back. Oh, that's the website. Thank you. So the landing page in this case. Now, what are we trying to do? We are doing a different remarketing uh, setting over here the first free marketing was altogether targeting everyone and anyone who has been to a website now this time we will be targeting only those people who have been only to the course page of our website and it could be other pages also but this is the mandatory thing people who have been to our course page for sure we want to target them so and we want to target them and we want to show them what specific page we want to show them this specific page this is going to be the landing page the moment it'll get to see the ad they will click onto the ad they will be able to go ahead and uh, get onto this landing page after clicking onto the ad now here are there are several ideas over here now since we are very much sure that what sort of people are we trying to show our ads people who have been to our uh, websites one specific web page we are doing a remarketing and that to a very precisely targeting remarketing that's why we are going on going ahead and selecting interest and remarketing option and over here the select category option comes in and we let's say click on to remarketing list now faculty and courses was another list which we created but this time we will be creating across another list i am going on to the Google AdWords shared library section. So in order to get uh, this particular section of people who have been to uh, the courses page at least, right? We, let, we have to create that list. So we have to click on the shared library section. And in this, let's click onto the view audience, audience basically. And over here, we'll be creating across a new remarketing list. And this is to do with the website visitors. And the name of the list is going to be people who have been to the course page. Now, we want visitors of a specific page to be over here and that's what we're trying to punch in. All right, so that's it. People who have visited this particular page, we are trying to uh, get in touch with them. We are trying to show ads only to these set of people. Now these audience, 
doesn't really necessarily mean that they will they wouldn't have seen the other pages they could have seen the other pages too if you want to be again very picky and choosy in terms of uh, certain other pages not being seen only this page being seen which is the course page then you can go ahead and uh, select this visitor of a page who did not visit any other page this is second option all right so people who visited a page within any of the following is this one and that's it you can leave the other plus other thing uh, to be blank but as of now we don't want to be very strict on that let's say people who have visited the course page and they could have visited after the course page or before the course page they could have visited some other section of our website all right then we can go further down okay these are some more options we can match types and so forth as of now we're just going ahead with this and let's say membership duration being 30 days and clicking on to save that's it right so now this particular remarketing list guys has been created and what we're going to do we're going to go back to that same page where we have we were creating the campaign and the targeting was getting done all right so it won't come in right now let me see i'm clicking on to remarketing list once again and let's see okay so it might take some time to actually get it refreshed i hope you have got the concept now that third remarketing list which got created a while back it will take some time for this course page remarketing list to be shown across over here and then we'll go ahead and select that so let's say this is the one i'm just giving an example so people who have been to my courses page and the faculty page i want to target them and that's it and i'll click on to save and continue sure sir then i'll go ahead and unmute you give me a second All right, so Chitanya, I've uh, unmuted you. Hello. Yeah, hi, uh, Chitanya. Yes, you, yeah, I can hear you. Actually, we created uh, one landing page, right? Uh, yes. Someone clicks our ad, the guy directly redirects to landing page. Right. Okay, and landing page, there are few courses BBA, BCom, and someone clicks. The courses button again. The guy landed to our website. One second. Let me just go the to main. the main. Let me just go into the landing page and try to understand what exactly the question is. So you're saying somebody who lands onto a landing page comes onto a landing page, yeah. and uh, yeah. in the landing page also you're saying there are several. Without filling, form, yeah, without filling form, you want to explore more about the uh, information. Mm -hmm. Right. If you click, for example, uh, read more button. If you click the read more button, it directs to the the main website. Yeah, he he'll, he'll go to the main website. Yes. Main website. Either in the tracking, the data which we are getting from the uh, I mean. Uh, Either website data or uh, the landing page data in the targeted, uh, the retargeting method. See, I'm 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 still unable to understand what your question is. See, I understood your part that your landing page uh, has got a form fill up. It has got other links, and there are two scenarios: a person fills up the form, or second scenario, person doesn't fills up the form and goes ahead and. Click onto the other links on your landing page, which is let's say the no more. Okay, he clicks onto no more and he goes onto the uh, main website, right? I've understood this part that he goes onto the uh, main website. Now, what is your overall uh, main requirement now? What is your requirement? Now, what are you? Can track if the guy comes to our main website, we can track the guy. If the uh, website doesn't fill up the form and he goes to the other page, you want to track him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Track we him can. in what sense? I mean, you want his details? Yeah, 
yes i mean uh, which we are retargeting na, the people who are uh, visited our website again we are showing our ad one second see uh, you are first of all saying that you want to now you're saying you want to retarget that person who came to your landing page who didn't fill up the form but came to the other page of your website went to the other page yes see yes. then in that in that case you go to the retargeting section and create a new list and in the new list you mention the retargeting in the retargeting url so just now we mentioned the courses page just now while back in the courses page in a new yeah. list this way we can create another yeah. new marketing list and in that we can mention uh page to be the landing page now whosoever comes onto your landing page whether fills up the form or doesn't fills up the form he becomes part of a new remarketing list okay next so, but yeah. let me know see what is your understanding your what is your overall requirement you want to target that particular person who came to your landing page and didn't fill up the form yes right right In now you who fills up we get this i'm sorry who filled up you know the the person who fill the form will get the data to follow up for the yes. follow up. yes yes so you you so you are okay with that mm -hmm. yeah yeah and somebody who didn't fill up the form you want to target target him again yes sir. exactly right in that case it's better to go ahead and mention the url of your landing page your landing page url needs to be mentioned in a new new remarketing list you go to the new remarketing list mention uh, that would be landing page so this will include both the audiences who filled up the form who doesn't filled up the form you will be able to show them show the ad to both okay okay also okay. also also uh let me okay uh you want more segregation to it what you will do there are two pages one is landing page url the other is the thank you page url two pages are there so one sort of an audience would be people who came to your landing page and also to your land uh, thank you page of your landing page that is list number 1 and list number 2 who came to your landing page but who didn't come to your thank you page that is the one which you want so what will happen yes right you will mention over here in the rule that visitors who came onto your landing page but didn't come to your thank you page that's the one which you want yeah 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 right right sir so you will say visitors of a page who did not visit another page can you see the second option yeah yeah so you will mention this you will mention the landing page url over here in this section but didn't visit the other page would be the thank you page so all in all you are targeting those who are not filling up the form people who filled up the form are uh, is a separate audience you now you have understood now you will now when you will mention so let's create this let's try to create this let me go ahead and take the url okay. no now it's clear right now you know your yeah, yeah. your uh, advertisement will say uh, maybe something like that uh, whatever you want to say that you came to our website you did <laughs> uh and uh, is there something else which we can really give you and so forth whatever i mean your your advertisement copy can be like that so this is your landing page url do you have the url chetanya with the uh, thank you page the thank you page url do you have that So yeah, people, I can provide. Yeah, right. Which we used yesterday also, I think so.
Right. So what we do in this case, we'll have the URL of the landing page. People who've been to our landing page but haven't filled up the form, the non-converters basically. Here is the URL of the page which opens up once the URL, once once the conversion happens. So I'm clicking on the copy link. And I'm placing it right over here. Right, so we've got we've got this set up. We've got this remarketing list set up, which it says that people who came to my website, who came to this particular page, let's say of the product page or the landing page, whatever you want to call that, but didn't end up purchasing it. Somebody who didn't end up purchasing will definitely not go to the thank you page. So with that being done, we have got the new remarketing list being created and then click on to save. You can then choose in a class. Okay, the list has to be given across a name. So your overall message to them is going to be very targeted in terms of, you know, uh, let's say you're offering them, you can offer them across a specific discount coupon, some something freebie and so forth. So let's try to assume that, you know, you have, you go onto a website, you purchase a product, then still you get to see the uh, remarketing. You still get to see uh, advertisement from that particular website. You feel like, oh my goodness, I've already purchased product from them. Why are they still chasing me? In this case, it will not happen. You're not chasing everyone and anyone. You're chasing only those who didn't made the effort, who didn't really, uh, who didn't really get converted. Make sense? Are we good, guys? Let me know. All right, now we're fine. All right, so time for a break, guys. We'll go for a break, and then after the break, we'll uh, look into the other aspects, other different questions, queries, and other reviews and so forth which need to be done. All right, so I'm going to go on mute mode now, and then we'll uh, meet across after 20 minutes after the break.
All right, so let's get started after the break. Just trying to check if you can hear me. All right, perfect. All right, so to move further, the next thing after uh, the display and the search campaign and after doing across your review, uh, since you will be working across in the display campaign and the remarketing campaign this week, so we'll be looking at a sort of a review for your display campaign also next week. And then video campaign, we would be able to start next week only. If you have any questions with regards to whatever we have covered, whether it's to do with the SEO, the on-page, off-page, or you've got uh, questions regarding to Google AdWords only, I think we can go ahead and take those questions and queries and then move on with the video and the other review part uh, next Saturday. Right, so Chitanya, I can, I think uh, Goresh has uh, dropped. Maybe I can go ahead and uh, unmute you if you want to, uh, so that you can let me know if in case you have any questions at this given point of time. If not, then we can meet next Saturday. Shall I unmute you? All right. So uh, with regards to new topic, we, we would be able to start that across uh, next Saturday only then in that case. And uh, we'll take it further from there. Hope that that is fine. Uh, do work across on to your SEO stuff. Do work across on to your Google AdWords search and display. These are the things guys through which we get across, uh, you know, maximum traffic for our websites. You know, the paid ads and the search engine optimization. These are the things from which uh, maximum uh, conversions you can say and maximum traffic comes in. All right, hope it makes sense. All right, general question you have. All right, let me go ahead and unmute you. Sure, yeah, you let me know about your questions. Chitanya. Yeah, I uh, think it's once we complete the total area for the C marketing, then now the opportunity is uh, as an experienced person. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry, you got to be a bit loud. So you're saying... The approach. Uh, How would I... be the approach? And uh, if we want to enter into a digital marketing sector, uh -huh. is there anything which I can't, which I want to focus more? Focus more. So these two topics, majorly the paid and the unpaid, which is SEO. Through search engines, we get across the maximum uh, traffic. Just give me a second. One second, I'm going to be on mute. Just hold on for one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm back. There was something at the background because of which I had to mute myself. So yeah, let me know. Uh, so these are the two things, Chaitanya, which you really need to focus more on. There are other topics also in digital marketing, which other channels to which we get across uh, a lot of traffic, whether it's email, whether it's getting across uh, traffic to various different content pieces, which is called content marketing right and also through social media so social media content and email are the other topics major topics other than the google adwords and seo and as you saw in google adwords there are some so many things there's so many things underneath google adwords also which one needs to do 
having said that if you have to really uh, if uh, if you ask me to go ahead and rate them across in terms of uh, prioritize them google adwords and seo these are the top most ones uh, when it comes down to making, you know making a focus and so forth right okay yeah so we have actually started with the most important ones in our entire course okay. yeah so any other questions any other general question uh uh goresh you have so goresh is back goresh i can unmute you also if you want to you have any questions any doubts we will be taking across the new topic from on saturday any questions you have as of now okay, uh, you can go ahead and answer them any suggestions i can unmute you goresh if you wish to and chetan if you have any further questions or it's clear Okay. No, okay. All right. So thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, we'll be meeting across uh, again next Saturday with uh, more things to cover across. I hope you guys will, uh, you know, work around on the stuff that we have covered as of now, whether it's through with the uh, search, display, and so forth, all of these things, and we'll take it further next Saturday. Perfect. And on the practical and website, WP is pending, right? Go ahead. I'll I'll pass on I'll pass on your. Uh, what do you say uh, your request uh, to the concerned person and uh, will we ask him to really take it on a priority please i'll i'll do that for sure all right thanks guys and uh, we'll we'll get your pending being done this week all right thanks guys take care bye 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 now.